What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment bringing you a video today. Um, and the video today is going to be on my weekly installment, weekly series, Toronto Raptors Weekly. And uh, what I wanted to talk about is something that I, I heard about earlier today. It actually happened yesterday. I'm not sure what time. But what I wanted to discuss, even though it doesn't directly have anything to do with the Raptors... It indirectly does, and what I'm talking about is the big trade that happened between the Pelicans and the Sacramento Kings with uh, DeMarcus Cousins being traded to the Pelicans for basically nothing. And why I wanted to discuss this is because I wonder if the Raptors pulled the trigger too early in the trade that they made. And the reason I posed the question is, I thought when the Raptors made their trade, for what I'm hearing online and reading and what people are saying in these different media outlets, is they feel as though the Raptors got Serge Ibaka for quote-unquote nothing. Well, the Pelicans just got DeMarcus Cousins, which is you know top 10 talent in the league, for quote-unquote nothing. So my thing is, is, why not have waited to see what else you could have got than to pull the trade for Serge Ibaka? Now, will the trade help the Raptors in the long run? I don't even know. Because uh, in my other video that I made previously about that trade, I felt, I mean, it's it's a slight upgrade, but it's not anything, anything substantial. Um, this is not Serge Ibaka from, you know, three, four years ago that was just a defensive beast and everything like that. He's not the same player. Um, so, I don't see that being that relevant to the team. But, man, if they could have pulled off this trade to get DeMarcus Cousins, you're looking at having a legit third option on their team now. And for what the Pelicans ended up having to give up to get him, this is definitely something the Raptors could have did. I mean, I'm not going to name names of who they could have dealt, but seeing who the Pelicans gave up to get him, it wouldn't have been a whole lot. It looks like Sacramento was just looking to dump him, to be honest with you. And it just eerily reminded me of back in the day when we were forced to tra uh, trade Vince Carter to the Nets, and... We basically got nothing in return for him. We were we were basically a franchise looking just to dump Vince Carter away, get rid of him, and start anew. That's exactly the feeling I got from this trade that the Pelicans did with Sacramento. Sacramento was done dealing with them. They wanted to move on. This was the time. And they just wanted to get whatever they could for him. And, man... I feel as though the Raptors, had they waited, they could have got this exact same deal. I mean, what's the difference? I don't think that the Pelicans have better talent that they gave away to get um, DeMarcus Cousins. I don't feel that that's the case at all. So, if you're talking about getting a top 10 guy and you just have to give up two marginal players and a draft pick, the Raptors could have easily did that and been looking really good about now. So, I just feel as though, I mean, I don't know if it's desperation, but we pulled that trade way too early without really seeing what other options that we had. It's like I feel that Sacramento gave away way too much, way too early. I'm sure they could have had better bidders for DeMarcus Cousins than what they gave away to get basically nothing, except for maybe, I mean, Bobby Heald might be a good player down the road, I don't know, but, you know, the other two players, Tyreek Evans, I mean, when he came into the league, I thought he was going to be a star, and then his game was just depleted, I don't know if injuries, Langston Galloway, I don't know too much about him, but obviously it's not a whole lot, but, and, you know, they got to a first round and a second round draft pick. I mean, whatever. But to get a top 10 player, 
Um, man, it's really short up the uh, Pelicans' front court. I'll say that much. But I just wish, like I said, I wish the Raptors had waited. Um, I didn't like the trade to get Serge Ibaka, and now I'm hating it even more. So, it is what it is. We, I think we just uh, we jumped the gun way too early in thinking that we needed to get make that move. And in making that move, it made it impossible to make another move that was probably on the table. Now, I mean, I don't know. Maybe the Kings were not discussing anything with the Raptors. Maybe the Raptors had tried, and the Kings said no. I don't know. We'll never know. But... He was obviously on the table, regardless of whatever Vladi Divac said about them not trading him. That obviously was not true. He was definitely on the table. He was available, and we just didn't fight for the opportunity to get him. And I think that's a huge opportunity loss for our team. Anyways, we just have to see how the second half of the season goes. Um... Hopefully this All-Star break has been exactly that, a break. And it's given an opportunity for some of our guys to hit the reset button and treat this like it's a completely different season and uh, make a run to the playoffs. Because the Lord knows they needed this break more than any other team, I think, in the NBA. Uh, we were just limping into the All-Star break. So... Some of these guys have had a whole week to rest. We'll see how it goes, and hopefully for this second season, we can turn things around and get the ball moving in the right direction. Anyways, that's it for the video today. Um, like I said, uh, you know, if you, you know, if you liked the video, definitely feel free to leave a like. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. What do you feel? You feel that Raptors waited, you know, didn't wait long enough? You feel that the Serge Ibaka trade is exactly what they needed and they didn't need to make this trade for DeMarcus Cousins just let me know in the comment section below what you feel and if you like the content and you like my video hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel anyways thank you for watching the video and have a great day